Welcome to Image and Interior Insights. I'm Christina with Aesthetics and Style. And today is another one of my favorite topics, lighting. Now, light fixtures and lighting really is one of the fundamental elements of your home or your office. And it really can make or break a room. Um, lighting has come a really long way and there's so many different options out there. And yet, this is where a lot of people go wrong. So today, I just want to give you a few little tips what to think about when you go shopping for light fixtures. So the first thing you need to do when deciding on your lighting for a room is to think about the activities going on in that room. So for instance, the kitchen. We have a lot of activity going on in the kitchen. You're going to need a lot of different light sources. So for instance, you need more overall lighting, overhead lighting, probably Reese's cans these days, um, to light up the kitchen. You're also going to need maybe some more mood lighting for over an island or a table. And then you're going to need some more task lighting for under the cabinet, over the stove, to be more precise lighting. So lots of things to think about, but mostly important, what are you going to do in the room? In a bathroom, it's important that your light is coming either from the sides or right in front of your face or right above. If you only have overhead lighting in a bathroom, you're gonna cast shadows in your face. And that's really hard for us women when we put on makeup or for men when they shave. So make sure you have full frontal lighting is the best. And if not, just above the mirror. Another great idea is to layer your lights, meaning use different light, sor light sources and different levels of the light. You could do larger chandeliers, table lights, and also, like we did here at the Brown's house, we played around with the vaulted ceilings and put in LED lights. You can really make the most of a room size and ambiance by putting your lights in different levels and layers. You can also have really fun with the, these LED lights like we did here in Bella's room, who's behind the camera. You can play around with the shape of the room and make it to any color your heart desires. Another great way to layer your lighting is with smaller lights, like these battery operated candle lights that I love. Can you tell? They're a great way to highlight a focal point that you have in your home and they give off a very warm ambient light without any fire hazards. Now type of light bulb is also very important to think about. Now an energy efficient light it's great for anything with frequent usage, great for the wallet, and it also doesn't generate heat. Whereas something like with a little more decorative light bulb is great for anything with more of a design statement. Now, light bulbs can also give different types of light. It could be a cool light or a warm light. So depending on the colors of your room and also the activity of the room, important when choosing one of these guys. My last tip of the day, Put a dimmer on any fixture you can. That way you're in control of the light output and can really set the mood in any room of your house. Now, when you're choosing your light fixture, of course, all the other things we've talked about previous weeks, balance, symmetry, harmony, all of that plays in as well, of course. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back a couple of weeks and look at our, our previous videos. But as you can notice, this is a subject we can talk about all day long. Um, so much fun and you can put so much drama in a room with lighting. But I hope you got some good little tips uh, to kind of where to start, pitfalls and things to think about. And if you have any more questions, don't be afraid to reach out. Until next week, chic happens and let's all have a bright week.